டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலையம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோவில் விண்ணி ஐ ஆம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ அகைன் இன் தி வீடியோ லெக்சர் இன் தி சொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் யூபிஎஸ்சி இன்ஜினியரிங் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாம் கொஷின்ஸ் இன் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் திஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டேக் ஃபியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இன் த டாபிக் ஃப்ளூட் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் தி ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் When the pressure of the liquid is increased from 3 mega newtons per meter square to 6 mega newtons per meter square, its volume is decreased by 0.1 percentage. The bulk modulus of elasticity of the liquid will be. We have four options. Among the four options, we have to identify which is the correct answer. We'll calculate the bulk modulus of elasticity. So K is equal to increase of pressure divided by the volumetric strain. K equal to minus dp. The change in the pressure, increase of pressure, divided by dv by v. That is the volumetric strain. So minus six minus three in ten power six. So six mega newtons per meter square. Final pressure, initial pressure is three mega newtons per meter square, divided by volumetric strain. There is decrease in the volume. So zero minus zero point zero zero one. So calculating, it is three into ten power eight newtons per meter square. So the correct answer is option C. 3 into 10 power 8 newtons per meter square. The next question from 2017 question paper: A spherical water drop of 1 millimeter in diameter split up in air into 64 smaller droplets of equal size. The surface tension coefficient of water and the air is 0.073 newtons per second. The work required in splitting up the drop is. So we have four options here. So the correct answer is 0.6, 0.69 ten power minus 6 joules. Option B. Uh, we'll see how in the next slide. The answer to the question: Radius of the first we have to calculate the radius of the smaller droplet. So 4 by 3 pi r cube. There is the volume of the larger droplet that is equal to n number of uh, uh, smaller droplet into 4 by 3 pi small r to the power 3. Simplifying, capital R to the power 3 equal to n into small r to the power 3. So substituting 0.5 to the power 3 equal to 64 into small r to the power 3. Calculating the radius of the smaller droplet r equal to 0.125 millimeter. So the work required to split the droplet w equal to sigma into 4 pi into n small r square minus capital R square. So substituting the numerical value 0.073 into 4 pi into 64 into 0.125 square. Minus 0.5 square in 10 to the power minus 6 to convert the millimeter into meter, meter square. This is equal to 0.68766 in 10 to the power minus 6 joules. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2014 question paper. Manometer is a device used to measuring velocity at a point in the fluid, pressure at the point in the fluid, discharge of the fluid, none of the above. The correct answer is. Manometer is used to calculate the de determine the pressure of the fluid in a point. The next question from 2014 question paper: When a dolphin glides through air, it experiences an external pressure of 0.75 millimeter of mercury. The absolute pressure on the dolphin when it is in in five meter is five meter below the free surface of water is. We have four options again. So the correct answer we calculate. So calculating atmospheric pressure. 0.75 millimeter of mercury. Atmospheric pressure equal to rho g h, so 13,600. That is density of mercury into 9.81 into 0.75 equal to 1,62 pascal. So the gauge pressure P g equal to 5 meter of water column. So P g equal to rho g h into 1,000. That is rho g h. That is rho water 1,000. 9.81 g is 9.81 h equal to 5 meter 49,050 pascal. The absolute pressure is the sum of the gauge pressure and the atmospheric pressure. So 49,050 plus 1,62,062 is equal to 1,49,112 newtons per millimeter newtons per meter square, which is equal to 0.149 newtons per millimeter square. So the correct answer is option D, 0.15 newtons per millimeter square. Next question from 2015 question paper: What is the intensity of pressure in the following in the following SI units? When the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 and intensity of pressure is 400 kilopascal. 
So, there are four options. We calculate uh, four options at, the, uh, at a different uh, unit of pressure. So, for example, 0 0.3 bar, 4.077 meter of water column or 0 0.299 meter of mercury column. So, we have four options. We calculate the pressure uh, 400 kilo Pascal equal to in different different unit. 400 kilo Pascal equal to 4 bar. So, 4 bar where we have option D and option B. So, there are only two options either option B or option D are correct. The pressure P equal to rho g h of water. So, pressure is 4 bar which is 4 in 10 power 5, 4 lakh equal to density of water is 1000, acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 and the head of water column H. So, calculating the head of water column H equal to 40.77 meter. So, here we have 4 bar 40.77 meter that is the correct option. So, we will check the mercury column value. So, pressure is also equal to rho g h of mercury column. So, again pressure 4 lakh, 4 lakh equal to 13609.81 into h. Now, calculating head of mercury column is 2.99 meter of mercury column. So, the correct option is option D. The 400 kilo Pascal equal to 4 bar or 40.77 meter of water column or 2.99 meter of mercury column. That is the correct answer. The next question from 2016 question paper, a vacuum gauge fixed, fixed on the steam condenser reads 80 kilo Pascal vacuum. The barometer indicates 1.013 bar. The absolute pressure in terms of mercury head is nearly, we have four options here, uh, we will calculate the absolute pressure. So, absolute pressure equal to 101.3. So, 1.013 1, 1 bar equal to 101.3 kilo Pascal minus 80 kilo Pascal, vacuum pressure is 80 kilo Pascal. So, 21.3 kilo Pascal which is 21,300, 21,300 kilo Pascal. The pressure head in the mercury column, so P equal to rho g h, so pressure equal to 21,300 equal to 13,600 into 9.81 to h. So, h equal to 0 0.1596 meter of mercury column, which is 159.6 meter of millimeter of mercury column. So, the correct answer is option A, 160 millimeter of mercury column. So, the 80 kilo Pascal vacuum is equal to 160 millimeter of mercury column. Next question from 2016 question paper, the pressure at a point in water column is 3.924 Newton per centimeter square. What is the corresponding height of water? So, in the meter column, what is, uh, what meter of water column, what is the pressure? We have four options, we calculate the height. So, pressure equal to P equal to rho g h. So, pressure is 3.924 in 10 power 4 Newton per meter square. This is equal to 1000 into 9.81 into h. So, h equal to calculating h equal to 4 meter. So, the correct option is 4 meter. The next question from 2018 question paper, there are two statements. Statement 1, a differential U-tube manometer determines the difference in pressure between two points in a flow section to which it is connected. Statement 2, the sensitivity of, sensitivity of the inclined gauge depends on the angle of inclination. So, select the correct answer among the four statements. Uh, the sensitivity of the inclined gauge is equal to 1 by sin theta. When the theta value increases, the sensitivity uh, decreases. When the theta value decreases, the sensitivity will increase. So, sensitivity is depending on the inclination. So, the correct answer is both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true, but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation for the statement 1. So, statement 1 is YouTube manometer. Statement 2 is inclined gauge manometer. So, the two statements are not at all connected, but uh, the two, two statements are individually true. The next question from 2016 question paper, in a differential manometer, a head of 0 0.5 meter of fluid A in limb 1 is found to balance a head of 0 0.3 meter of fluid B in limb 2. The atmosphere pressure is 760 millimeter of mercury. The ratio of specific gravity of A and B is, we have four options here. So, we will calculate. The balance in the differential manometer, rho A H A equal to rho B H B, rho A into 0.5 equal to rho B into 0.3. So, rho A by rho B equal to 0.3 divided by 0.5 equal to 0 0.6. So, the correct answer is option B, 0 0.6. The next question from 2022 question paper, a pipe contains an oil of specific gravity 0 0.9. A differential manometer connected at the two points A and B shows a difference in mercury level of 15 centimeter. What is the difference in pressure at the two points? 
take acceleration due to gravity as 9.81 meters per second square specific gravity of mercury as 13.6 and density of water as 1000 kg per meter cube so there are four options here so the we calculate the correct answer the difference in pressure delta p equal to g h into rho g minus rho so gauge density of the gauge value minus density of the water 9.81 to 0.15 into 13600 minus 1000 is equal to 18, 18,540.9 newtons per meter square. So, the answer is option A, 18,688 newtons per meter square. That is the nearest correct answer. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. You may find the fluid mechanics book. You can refer to the fluid mechanics book for better theoretical understanding. And I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the videos for a better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture on the solution for UPS engineering service exam questions in fluid mechanics. Until then, bye.